Bojo, Lauren Nedishnikas, Ote Ka Maquiam, Squaomish Akomeo, Slaywateth, Ejidayan, Mishkodini, Bode, Wadmi, Mine, Kikopoa, Nemendaguas. Hi, my name is Lauren, and I'm the Indigenous Spiritual Care Chaplain for First United, and this is our final week of our journey through grief. If we think of grief as a map, we are exploring the area called acceptance. Acceptance is on our grief map. It is not the end of grief. We are not over grieving, nor are we moving on from grief. Acceptance is a part of our grief map. It's like acceptance is our lookout tower in the center of our grief map. It allows us to look over the whole grief map. So we can see all that we have been through and um, we can also understand um, any of the journey that we still have left to go. As we look around, we see the loss and death as a reality that cannot change. And we acknowledge how the loss or death affects us. We might be able to articulate a changed sense of identity in light of the reality of the loss or death. We might work to redirect some of our emotional energy from the, gr from the suffering of grief to new activities and experiences, knowing we will revisit our multiple areas of our grief map again and again. If I'm the one that is dying, uh, acceptance means I might be ready to contact past relationships and ruptured family ties and friendships, saying five special messages. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Thank you. I forgive you. I love you. I might be ready to think about my legacy that I'm leaving behind and my impact on future generations. That's what acceptance means for those who are dying. I painted two paintings of acceptance this time. I thought about looking at our grief map from a tower. I used the same colors for both canvas boards. Let's see what we can see. The one where we can see more yellow, I added medium under to create hills and mountains. So before I added the paint, I added the um, thick medium. The other painting seems to be more waters and oceans. Both paintings depict our journey through grief this Lenten season. I wonder what feelings you see and feel in this painting. I wonder what you feel when you hear the word acceptance. As we look at this painting, I wonder where you see your grief in this painting and in your own painting. Thank you for joining me as we made our sacred journey on our grief map. This Lenten season has been so special because many of us were taught not to grieve. To do so was bad or we would never stop grieving. On the contrary, we learned during this Lenten season that together, grief is a sacred process focusing on the severed connection between us and our loved ones or between us and our hopes and dreams. Our spirit tries to restore the connection differently than it had before. Thank you again for accompanying me on this sacred journey. As you post your artwork, don't forget to include the hashtag pour out grief and tag first united. 
Pomamane.